Hey friends, how are you? Hope you're well and you've had a good week. Mine's been quite nice actually. Um, I've had a fairly quiet week, but then uh, and then on Friday because I was saving myself for Friday, I was I went out with my friend Jen on Friday. Um, she lives down Hoyk, so she came up to Edinburgh via the train, and I I met her there, and we had a really nice time. We had lunch, we did some shopping, we chatted about Christmas because she's coming here for Christmas. And it was just, it was a really lovely time. I just thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, so that was good. Then yesterday was very productive in that I've got some cross-stitch baubles that are going abroad. So I wanted to sort of start back. I've done all the cross-stitch, I just need to back them. So mum and I spent time backing them yesterday. And I'm just going to finish them today. I just need to stuff them and finish sewing them. So that'll be fine get that done and get them hopefully wrapped in a way this this week which would be brilliant reading wise it's been quite a slow week i have to admit um so let's sort of start i finished taste by stanley tushy i'm not going to say much about this because i'm using this from this one as my book for my book in a bake series this month so i'm not going to say much about that but yes i did enjoy it i then read away with the penguins by hazel Pryor. This one was okay. Um, I sort of enjoyed it. So we meet Veronica, who is an 86-year-old lady who lives in the Galloway area of um, Scotland. And, you know, her life just is, I wouldn't say monotonous, but she only does bits and pieces. But one night, her usual TV programme is not being shown and they start, there's a, this documentary about penguins. And it happens to be on every night that week. And it finishes off talking about the Delhi penguins um, in Lock Island, which is part of, I think it's called the Shetland Isles in Antarctica. And she decides that, you know what, I'm going to go see these penguins. And because she's got a lot of money and when she passes on, she wants to obviously donate some of her money to the char the penguins so and their um what's the word I'm conservation etc so she makes arrangements to go to this island but also in the background she discovers that she has a grandson and she goes to meet him and the first meeting does not go very well at all for various reasons um so she's like yeah fine i met him that's it end of um but he's a wee bit more tenacious than that and as i say she decides she's off to antarctica to see these penguins and their conservation etc and the folk that are run this sort of the station at lock island are like no no you can't come here we're not equipped for you but veronica being veronica is no i'm going end of so she gets it all self kitted out and everything and she arrives at the island on the designated day that she say, that she says and the three scientists meet her and you know take her back to the sort of station but their plan is to quickly show around and whack her back on the boat you now veronica has other ideas so she wants to she's seen the station she's like all right i want to see the penguins and like it was a wee bit of a walk to here i want to see the penguins and she goes slower than she normally would, so basically she misses the boat. And this is the story of her and the three scientists and her and her grandson and the penguins. So it was it was lovely. I'm, I'm not gonna spare I'm not gonna spoil it. Um but you know it was it was a nice book. I I did enjoy it. I, I know there's a sequel, I'm not sure that I will read it. I don't know if I am um, that invested in the story if that makes sense but no i did enjoy it it was, it was, it was, a, it was a nice wee read and then i read my final 2022 book for review yeah i finished all my books for review for 2022 and i finished book club to death by vm burns this is her latest in her bookshop mysteries series i'm not going to say much about it because i will be doing a full review of it it will come out at the end of december when the book is published so i will be talking to you more about that but yes i did enjoy it and then i picked up i've picked up the bookshop 
On the Corner by Jenny Colgan. This is my buddy read with Rebecca, the colourful book nester. So we are sort of reading five chapters a day. I had finished my two books that I was reading yesterday. So it, we weren't supposed to start it today, but when I started it last night at 10 o'clock, it was already, Rebecca's in Singapore now, so it was already Singapore time, so I just started it. So I've read what, I've read one and a bit, I'm just slightly on to chapter two, and I think it's going to be interesting. I think it could be quite an interesting book. I want to see where it goes. So yeah, so that's what I'm reading at the moment, and I'll be reading this uh, five chapters a day for the rest of the, the rest of the week. What else am I going to read? That's a very good question because I'm kind of now on what I call my own reading time so I don't know actually what I'm going to pick up next I have a couple of um, books that were kind of gifted to me by publishers way back um, maybe about two years, three years ago or I think it's two years ago I haven't read them yet um, one of them is a Christmas one so I think I'll keep that to December but I've got a, the second book in a series um so i've read the first one and enjoyed it so i may pick up the second one i'm not sure i kind of just at the moment want to just enjoy just to think oh what do i fancy reading what do i fancy reading um and just do it that way i think i realized that having eight books for review come in, in october was just absolutely horrendous that was just not it wasn't fun and it will not be happening again i can tell you that i'm going to be very very strict with myself next next year next year as to what i'm going to you know take on so that's fine i've got, i've got it worked out in my head so i'm fine with that um but yeah but that's kind of been it what else have i been doing well watch rugby yesterday while sewing so that was fine and um, there's rugby on today scotland play new zealand um yeah, I just hope it's not a cricket score by New Zealand. I really do, but I have a sneaky suspicion. You know, not that I've got not. I'm not doing the Scottish rugby team down. I'm not, but I just don't think we have the 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 firepower, as it were, to 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 cope with the New Zealand All Blacks. I think they are more powerful, a faster team. I just I don't see us winning that one. I have to say. Um, yeah, so that we've got that today. Uh, but I think that's kind of it. This week is quite a busy week coming up because tomorrow Dad and I are going out Christmas shopping for Mum. Tuesday I have my COVID and flu vaccines. Um, so got that. And then on the Friday I am going out with Mum to do Christmas shopping for Dad. So there'll be a few huddles going on going, what are we going to get? So yeah, so we're hopefully by the weekend I will have the majority of it done, which would be really really nice. Um, I have a few sort of things that are that have to be posted abroad, and I want to get them away within the next week, so which would be great. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at at the moment, guys. Um, you know, it's all busy busy or getting busier which is nice but i just need to remember to rest and relax and just chill for a bit so that's that's that so please let me know down in the comments have you started doing a new christmas prep yet have you got any christmas decorations up i've been have to say i've been watching some um decorate for christmas 2022 videos on youtube oh some of the decorations and what people are doing in the house are amazing you know it was like wow and they just look beautiful. It's just I'm just gobsmacked. Um, so yeah, so that's been fun. Have you yeah? Have you started decorating? Where or if not, when are you going to do yours? I think probably for me, I maybe do. I've got I know I've got a few Christmas book things planned. Um, so I may decorate within the next sort of fortnight. I would think that by the end of November, I would possibly have my room done. Um, our the rest of the house I think will probably be sometime in the second week of December possibly. We still have, we've got to order our tree so that's fine, we've got that to do. Um, but we'll get that done. Um, so yeah, I don't think we will we'll decorate till then, I don't know, we'll see. Um, maybe I can persuade mum and dad to do it earlier, which would be nice. Um, I haven't started any of my Christmas baking yet, that is another thing that will have to be done fairly soon. 
Um, I've got sort of things that I want to make people for presents. Um, so I want to get that organized and you know even if it's like for cookies even if like I've made the cookie dough bits in the freezer and I just have to bake it um so yeah so what are you reading at the moment um I would really love to know and what have you been doing this weekend it would be great to know but whatever you do friends stay safe and happy reading bye